it is Stacy and Donna with Wednesday Wonders, and we are super excited to be here with all of you today. We're going to be kicking off our first Wednesday Wonders, where we're going to be highlighting a new template design um, or new pattern every single week. So that uh, this week we uh, shared with everyone before the event that we're going to be highlighting the Edge to Edge quilting set. Donna is going to be showing some inspiration. She's going to be doing a little demonstration, and um, we're just excited to be able to maybe do some, um, get some feedback from all of you on what you might be doing with this amazing template set. And then, of course, be able to pick some live winners. So um, we, we posted earlier today the opportunity to be able to um, win uh, the, the template set by sharing with us what you might be um, what you might be most excited to use that template for. And we went ahead and put that on a comment. It's been to the top of our Facebook feed. So we definitely want you to go over to our So Steady Facebook page and add to those comments. Um, and we'll be sharing with you right now what some of the feedback was, but then we will be picking a live winner here at the end of our live today for what people are most excited about using that template for. So stay tuned for that live giveaway. Another live giveaway we're going to be giving away, and this is really kind of new and exciting, guys. For every 25 shares of this feed today, we're going to be giving away $10 to one lucky winner on our Facebook. That means we could have I mean, right now we've got about 100 people watching. If all of you shared it on Facebook, we could have four winners getting $10 to use on our So Steady website to purchase anything you'd like. So uh, that's just $10. You can purchase that could be a big discount for you on something, or that could just be one free thing. So um, that's up to you. Um, what we need you to do is share this feed on your Facebook. If you're coming to us live from Facebook, share it, share it, share it. And that will uh, be another chance to win live during the event. We'll be picking four winners live to be able to win that way as well. So today we're going to be giving away this amazing template set here. Let's see here, Donna. I see you. Donna's on standby. Here's the, Donna, our expert quilter, all things uh, DM quilting. And Donna has done so much amazing stuff for Westley Design and So Steady over the years. Um, and then, of course, she created DM quilting templates and tools. And she's got a vast line of tools that she's created that really lend themselves to quick and easy edge to edge quilting. So we thought today kicking this whole thing off, the edge to edge quilting set would be the perfect set to really launch it with. So we went out to everybody and we said, hey, tell us what you might be most excited to use this edge to edge set with. So Donna, what, what kind of ideas do you think that we got from people on what they would be most excited to use this edge to edge template set with? Oh, I muted you, Donna. I'm sorry. Now I can hear you. <laughs> okay. Um, we got lots of different comments. And mm -hmm. I think everything from borders to all over background quilting and of edge one side to the other. Yeah. So Excellent. Well, I did. I saw some fun things. I saw people that were excited to use it on charity quilts. Um, I saw folks that were excited to use it on um, baby quilts, on uh, quilts that maybe have been UFOs for a long, long time that they just need to finish. <laughs> and so I definitely think that this template set could be a great template set to start with if you have never um, done a whole lot of ruler work to be honest, because Donna has created quick and easy templates here, guys. So if you're new to ruler work, these are amazing templates for you. And if you're or if you've got some background stuff going on, Donna, um, I'm wondering if maybe we'll just remove one of these until, um, until we're ready to go ahead and add it in, and that might help with the background. Um, Good idea. idea. Well, there's still a little echo. Um, 
So why don't we go ahead and um, share with you what that first template set is going to be all about. And so I'm going to bring this back onto the screen here. There it is. And, and then let's go ahead and take a look at this template set. So, all right. So this is the edge to edge sampler set. And Donna, you, we can still hear you okay. We just can't see you now. Okay. Um, but this is um, a four piece template set that comes with some amazing designs and you can kind of see it on the screen. I'm going to show it on my screen as well. This is what the template set looks like. It comes in three different thicknesses, low shank, high shank, and of course, um, the long arm thickness of rulers. So we have one that should fit every scenario. Donna's laying it out really nicely for us right there so we can see those great. So I see three different templates right there, Donna, and then there's a fourth one. Is that right? That's there. exactly right. We have our fourth one is a new size of the winding way. Um, it is four and a half inches by four and a half. So it's a little bit smaller than the great big one that we all know and love. Sometimes we just need something to fit in a five inch area and this would do it nicely. And so our stitch pattern um, is slightly different from the other, not enough where you're really gonna tell it. You could actually use them together, um, meaning in the same project. So this one is a new size. The only place it's available is in this set. And so we're not duplicating what you might already have. This template is one that I really have been having fun with. It is the Curvy Diamond and its stitch, uh, finished stitch pattern is three and a half inches wide and four and a half inches tall. Now it looks kind of like a little spaceship there, but um, it creates some real fancy little uh, patterns as well as some all over patterns. So we'll take a look at what it does a little more in a few minutes. But here is another new favorite. It is the skinny ribbon candy. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. It is two and a half inches tall and three quarters of an inch um, across. And so you can see here, it has the etch lines uh, for you to follow. Now I have placed a little bit of colored tape on the back here so I could see where my center horizontal line was. I was working on some white fabric and it disappeared. So this um, is real easy. We stitch along here from A to B and slide the template over and go from A to B again. And we connect and touch right at each of those joints. So it's real easy. Again, we, falling in line with the quick and easy. We love it. Well, you know, the thing I really like with these templates is they make some pretty complex looking designs, but they're very easy to use. Uh, just follow some simple instructions and you can achieve some really great work. Oh, this I gotta tell you, Donna, we just got a really cool comment I'm gonna share on the screen. This was from Deanna and she said that she used the Flourish, which you're showing off right now. Um, and she did it for the slashing strips for her cowboy quilts. Wouldn't that be perfect? Oh yeah. It, it looks, looks like barbed wire. Like yeah. Oh, I'd love to see some pictures of that. I'd be really fun. So fun. That's what Wednesday Wonders is all about, guys. We we want to hear about kind of how you incorporated these designs into some unique ways. This particular template will stitch three and a half inches tall or long, however you want to position it, but it's only a half of an inch. And so when we double it, um, we could actually create a one inch wide pattern with it. And so I'll show you some samples that I've stitched out here in just a minute. Um, but this one, it's real easy. We can spin around, we can stitch on one side or the other. And so it really gives us some fun options to play with. All of the templates in this set 
has some user instructions. This is the instructions for the winding way. And it's some basic information there. Here we are, the ribbon candy. Oh, so the you got the ribbon candy. Mm -hmm. what, you got a little inspiration in there too on different things they could do with it. I do. And so I like to include some different options of how you could use it. If you wanted to do some edge to edge, you could just do multiple rows and connect um, right there. Or you could come back and do a secondary stitch, which creates this real pretty little filigree in the middle or some regular offset by a quarter of an inch or half of an inch, whatever you choose, one way or the other. Meaning you would have your center line down through here and come back and in a half of an inch or a quarter of an inch to the side of that, create a secondary um, line that you would stitch the second time. So this would require two passes. You could come down and back, but this would be really pretty in a border. Um, it stitches two and a half inches wide, so you could expand it and make your border uh, fill whatever size you want. And I see here looking at this, these numbers aren't correct. So I'm going to have to get you uh, work with so steady and get that corrected. Um, these are supposed to, this is the actual stitch size, but the measurements here are not correct. They are correct up here. Oh, well, yeah, we can get that fixed really easily. Hey, Donna, do me a favor. Show me some of the inspiration below uh, below that. It looks like you've stitched out some of these designs. Is that right? Yes, I yeah, have. Yeah, let's, let's take a look at that. Let's that looks really cool. Take a look at that. So here's our florist. Move it out of the way so I don't lose it. This is how our ribbon candies will look. Let's see if we can get some light over here to help that out. Can you see that right down here, the skinny ribbon candy? And yeah. you can see it isn't very big. We have, this is a little six inch ruler. And so it is two and a half inches tall. I have created a three inch border here and stitched a complete row of that. Here is... Oh, so the, so the ribbon candy you did, that would be excellent for borders, wouldn't it? Oh, it would be perfect in a border. And so to use it as all over fill, you could just use multiple rows. But what's really cool is it looks just like the regular big ribbon candy, only it's skinnier. And so you could actually use it with the other uh, regular ribbon candy. Here we have the four and a half inch winding ways. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something really quick on the winding way because I think that this was one of those templates that Donna and I have been saying we wanted in the, our line of rulers with Westerly for forever. So when Donna came out with it, that was one of your first template designs, wasn't it Donna? It was, it's been around yeah. for quite some time. And then so, you created a new size to go in this template set. But we were so excited because forever we had people saying, you need a stippling template. And that's essentially what Winding Way has done is created that stippling design that we were looking for. Well, and, you know, I know this isn't part of the program, but we actually have another set of the Winding Ways that is the smaller sizes. And so we have lots of options there to help you create that stippling. Um, and I, I wanted to just take a quick moment and remind everyone of our live giveaway opportunities today. We're going to be doing a few different live giveaways. It's going to happen um, towards the end of the live. Donna is going to do some demonstration for us. The first one is going to be uh, based on your comments that you put on the post that we put at the pinned to the top of our Facebook page, so study uh, Facebook page. And that is where you tell us all about what you would do with this template set if you want it. We're going to have one lucky winner win the template set. The other opportunity is for you to share our live. So if you share the live feed, um, we're going to give away a $10 gift for every 25 shares to our, that Facebook page. So 25 every uh, one, 
ten dollar uh, credit to our website for every 25 shares so i'll have to give you an update on where we're at with that and then we have one other surprise giveaway that we're going to be doing today for um a bonus gift so now show us what the next template will do in the lineup donna i see i see a really cool design but it looks like a circular design so show tell us how you created that well this one here is from our curvy diamond and you can see that right here and so we can create oh my goodness would you throw that curvy diamond on there and show you show us how, how, it, how it stitched out that looks so cool so it's so easy to do and there's a couple of different ways to do it i have found that if we create a grid pattern of markings um, on here it's a lot easier and we can come across a to b to c and across and create oh, the other path so cool and go across or you can come down a to b to c to d and back up to a and then back and then move it down and move it down so look, all of those look like circles but they're really just connecting diamonds they're connecting diamonds that create this oval pattern that is three and a half inches wide by four and a half inches tall. And so this can be used in several different ways. I also have, let's turn this around. We've got a Here. few people making comments. Someone said that reminds me of orange peel. Someone said they used the, that to make uh, dresser scarves and they oh. turned out really well. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely loving, um, what you can do with that. That's awesome. So this particular design is the very same template and we are using it in a horizontal pattern and you can see here come across. So it's all the way around and then slide it over and repeat again. Oh, that's so cool. And once we have gotten to the end yeah. and come back, then we start at the halfway center part okay. and fill in in between and move across in the same manner. So this gives us a border. But I took it a little farther, changed my thread color to match my background because I like to mention part of the main thing we do our quilting for is to get that dimension in the quilt um, and enhance the beauty, of course, not just simply to hold it together. And so from the edges, I did almost the same thing, but I used my center alignment marks on the template as my stopping point and only went halfway. And so was able to fill that in on these edges. So I went from creating a five inch wide pattern uh, because this was a four and a half inch design. So from creating a four and a half inch wide pattern to filling a seven inch block. And so it's a real easy way wide border there. But the one I think is kind of cool. Look at this, Stacy. Oh, that is really neat. I was wondering what you were doing there. Oh now this, this is the same template. So on this sample here, I have used this same template in three different locations. And so I have actually posted uh, the information instruction sheet uh, to do this particular block with some sample ideas of how it can be used. So the instructions are here. We so there was a question out. that came in that this is a good question. Someone said, so what if you're about to finish a king size quilt, where would you start? It partly depends on what the uh, patchwork design is of the quilt. And if you have um, any stay, um, stitch in the ditch work or anything like that, sometimes I'll start in the center. If I'm doing edge to edge, I'll start 
on the edge. Like with the winding way, for example, you start on one side and go across, down and back. So for that, if you do in half sections, it's a little easier to manipulate a larger quilt. Do one end, turn around and do the other end and the template works and connects perfectly the same way. So here we have, if we were to use this design, and I've marked out a 12 inch block for it, and we had multiples of that connecting, we could create an all over quilt pattern using that one template only. So this is pretty easy to do. Like I said, looks very complex. We have eight rotations marked and then we do a little bit of offset stitching um, and we might even stitch this one out a little bit if we have time. And then it creates about 11 and a half inch um, area. So it really turns out quite nice. I'm going to be uh, doing this with some template work. I think it'll be kind of fun. You know, someone was just asking if you can buy just the winding weight templates and you absolutely can. I'm going to be posting a link to that. You can buy one, you can buy a set and or you can get this edge to edge set, which gives you a variety of different designs. I love that that um, that that uh, curvy diamond, while you see it as really more of an edge to edge design, look at the possibility of creating a really cool block design that's more of a, a mandala style. That's really, really neat, Donna. I love that. So yeah, yeah. what was that? Oh, you know, I just wanted to give a quick update um, on the shares. Again, we're going to be giving $10 away for every 25 shares. We're really close to be giving three gift certificates away right now. We've got 67 shares. If we get to, to 75 shares, we're going to give three $10 gift certificates away towards the end of this event. Um, we're still picking winners for the um, what would you do with the template set. So keep making comments. Again, that's on the, the uh, Facebook post that we have pinned to the top of our So Steady Facebook page. So keep on going, guys. We've got some awesome giveaways coming up. So Donna, what else do you have to show us before you stitch this out for us? Well, I have one more um, stitch sample of how, let's see if I can get it in the camera view for the uh, flourish right here. And so this one, I did not do an all over pattern with it. It could be done, but I used it as a border element um, that you might want to do around something else, whether it's in your sashing. The one gal said she used it in her sashing. Because it is so narrow here, you can get away with doing that. You could use it in a one inch sashing real easy if you wanted to. By coming back and offsetting it a half of an inch and duplicating that stitch and then change the corner down here just slightly. Let's see if we can get that in the camera. Just slightly, we were able to do the corner effect coming around with the template. Let me grab it here and show you how it works. Oh, you know, I got to be honest. I think that this flourish is an amazing border set design because it's pretty skinny, right? Oh. Now, question came in. Can you get the flourish in multiple Ooh. sizes? Get the what? I'm sorry. The, the flourish template. Does that come in multiple sizes? Not yet. In okay. this, in this uh, set, it is this one size, but I am working on multiple sizes um, that would not be included in this set. So we are going to have a new set of the Flourish template in other sizes. Oh, I love that. Okay, cool. So here we have, by positioning the template right here, once we have stitched along the edge and around, simply turn it around and come back and stitch the other side. And so it gives us this interesting little, not exactly a figure eight, but an element that really is quite pretty. 
And so this alone could be used uh, to create your all over pattern or the other. Let me find the instruction sheet for that. And so here we have um, some offset of these where we stitch one half and then the other and then overlap them slightly. And so you get this effect. So there's all kinds of things. This stitch is only a half of an inch pattern. You can see right here from this outside edge here to this outside edge is only a half of an inch um, wide. And so you can see my little ruler fits right on there. So when we add it together, we now expand it to one inch. And by offsetting it slightly, we can create more patterns and designs depending on what your spacing is that you want to use. I love it. Uh, you know what? We're getting, we're having a lot of people saying that they think that they have to have this set now. Now, Donna, you are going to do a demonstration for us using the curvy diamond, and I'm going to be posting a link for everyone to a little handout that she's giving everyone watching today um, on what you're going to be using the curvy diamond for. Is that right? That's right. Oh, bonus. You got a handout today, guys. So um, we're at 80 shares right now, guys. So if we get up to um, 100 shares, we're going to give away four $10 gift cards to our website. So we're going to have four, um, but we do need to get 20 more shares to take advantage of that. Um, Donna is going to set up to do a demonstration. I'm going to post a link to the handout. So let's get going on this. This is great, Donna. Oh, good. I'm glad that you're liking that. So one thing I want to show you real quick like here, let's see if we can get some light on the subject. I have taken um, a different piece of fabric and I've marked it with eight rotations. These are instructions that are in that sheet. So once you uh, get in there, print it off and when you get your set, you will have that. I have marked one inch distance from center on four of the lines and then one and a half on the other four lines. We'll start stitching right in the center. We don't need a pin because this rotates right around as it is. So let's turn the machine on, wake it up, and get into position. I'm going to pull my thread. Now, are we going to run out of time here, Stacy? Oh no, we're doing great on time. Good. So here now, we're going to start right in the very center in that spot where we've marked the center. What's really nice here, this particular pattern, it's real easy to use. If we have um, a straightaway or even a 12 inch arc or the side of the template, we can stitch our little parts. Have my thread up. Now I'm putting the template in. One thing I want to show you quickly before we start that. These templates have the lettering A, B, C, D. Down here at D is a thread slot. It is aligned exactly at vertical center. And then we have a vertical center on top and horizontals on the sides. We also have previous stitch etched lines. So when you're doing the all over pattern, you can match up to those and help you go. I also find that when I'm using this template, I like to put the open end with the thread slot at the back of my foot when I can, and then I can better align my placement um, line right on my mark line so let's put that in so donna um someone was asking if you if there you could bring the camera a little bit closer um oh, I, did, I did post the handout for everyone so now everybody can download that um that's a pdf that we posted for, um, from our website um i did 
post a link to this template set um, as well, and I'll post another one. And then I was going to ask, so on this particular design, you're doing more of a standard block design, but would you say that there's a different marking tool that you would really recommend to go with the edge to edge set? Well, actually, what is really great with this set, especially when we're doing um, our winding way or the curvy diamond as Oliver Phil, the um, basic marker is really good. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so you can get there it is. Perfect. This is the four by twelve inch. I also have a twelve by twelve which gives you two sets of marks. So it's a full exact 12 inch square. I use this one here to mark my one inch marks and my inch and a half real easy because when we place it on the fabric where it needs to be and press on it slightly, our fabric isn't gonna go anywhere. So our line is gonna be exactly straight. It doesn't move because we're working on the edge and it kind of puffs up. So let's get this stitched. Do we have any other questions about that? Um, I don't think so. I think that we're going to have you go ahead and stitch out a design for us. So we're going to go all the way around and back to center. So one thing that we've learned over the years is that when we stitch a circular pattern or a curve, it's always easier to stitch on the inside of the curve rather than the outside because we can stay connected to the template a lot easier. Now, we have a one inch mark right here. I need to lift my foot and remove the template and I can use my straight away or the edge of the template because I want to stitch right to that mark and stop. Ah. Okay, we're at one inch. We also have half inch marks on this template. And if I turn it over the right way, that helps then we can see what our distance is real easy. And that's the straightaway template, huh? That's straightaway. So once we have gotten to our one inch point, we realign. Someone asked a question that I thought was interesting. They said, can you do one with a hexagon? I don't know why not. I could see that this, this could look really cool on hexagons. It might be. I polished my glider and now I'm sliding all over the place. So now this takes me right back to my one inch position and I remove the template and stitch backwards. And if I'm right on there correctly, I will end up right where I need to be. And now we're ready for our next pattern. So see how easy that was. We did two patterns separated by a one inch distance. Let's come over here to the side because this is an inch and a half or right here and it's a little different. So we're gonna stitch out to that inch and a half mark. We don't start in center. This one, we don't do the center one. It only has one right to there. Put the template in position. Okay. 
try and keep my hands out of the way. And you can see right here how our etch lines come right in there with where our needle stops. So you can see exactly where you're going and where you're gonna end up. Oh yeah, someone else said that they could see this being um, great for a Christmas quilt. Oh, you know, I think so too. After I stitch this out, it just kind of says Christmas, don't you think? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're doing Christmas in July a little early, huh? <laughs> well, yeah, we're doing Christmas in May, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I have a project underway using this same design, and I'm going to be doing it with some template uh, stitching. Ah, oh, okay. So I think that's going to be really kind of cool. And so are those half inch increments on the uh, straightaway? Is that what I'm seeing? What was that? Are you doing half inch increments on the straightaway? These are, I just stitched right back to my center. First one oh, is one inch, second one is an inch and a half, but this distance, the vertical spacing is half inch. On this side, they are a quarter of an inch and over here they are a half inch. We also have numbers, and so that really helps. I use this thing a lot. I even do my basting with these. What's really cool is we can align this stop line down here at zero, right where we want to end our stitching, have this one right in our seam, and stitch and stop exactly in our corner where we need to be. Oh, neat. Well, I just think that that is such a cool design and you're giving, we gave everybody instructions on how to finish this design. Is that right? We have all of the instructions are on this page and it shows here how we can uh, do the first pattern. Yeah. Get oh, a little bit further. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So you would do all four of those maybe first? So I would suggest, well, you wouldn't have to. Um, I showed it this way just for simplicity, but I stitched it differently to yeah. show you how it goes. Um, okay. It, it might be just as easy so you don't get confused and put a one inch on an inch and a half spot. Sure. But the double ones um, have are an inch. Of, the second one of the double ones is an inch away. Okay. On the single ones, the extended part it's an inch and a half. There it is. Yeah. Okay. And that's an inch and a half out. So it's just a little further out. Very cool. So they would just repeat, 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 and they'd have a finished block. Exactly. I so love it. It's really kind of cool. If you wanted to, you could actually come along and um, add another one out here at an inch away from this point, if you wanted to extend it out even more. So th there's just all kinds of things that can be done. Okay. This. I think that it's really kind of an interesting, and I'm gonna be real curious to see the different fabrics everyone comes up with. Oh, I would agree a hundred percent. I think that there's lots of possibilities for fabric and of course for um, just, what you might be doing with um, these different designs too, if you're gonna end up taking advantage of getting that edge to edge um, set today, then that's a, a great opportunity. So um, I wanted to go ahead and officially pick our template set winner. So we've got um, about 45 comments right here on uh, the post. We pinned it to the top of the page. We told everybody about it. Um, so we've got, um, our official winner is going to be Kathy Dewey. She says she has a stack of sandwiches waiting for quilting inspiration. Let's go. So Kathy Dewey, we have picked you as the official winner of the, um, the 
damn quilting edge to edge template set. Um, and that's going to be our first live giveaway today. Um, right now, I wanted to do a um, kind of announce where we're at as far as our shares. It looks like we're getting really close to getting up to four of our $10, um, uh, ten uh, basically $10 to our Westerly website. Right now we're um, at 89 shares. So if we get up to 100 shares, we'll have four. So I'm going to give three of those away based on uh, folks that are live with us right now. So I'm just going to be picking from um, our live feed right now four lucky winners. So let's go ahead and get that picker going here. Um, so we've got lots and lots of comments. I'm going to be basing our... Um, our winners on if you commented and liked during um, the live feed, we're going to be picking it on our comments and likes. So let's go ahead and pick three of those winners. And Donna is just going to keep quilting away this amazing block. Um, and then I'll go ahead and review if there's any questions or comments that we want to share here momentarily. All right. So we've got two more winners that we're gonna pick for the $10, $10 credit to our site. So um, let's go ahead and say, so Reese, um, we've got so Reese um, is going to be winning $10 to our So Steady webpage. Anybody that's winning today, because these are live giveaways, you have to email us. I'm gonna go ahead and do our info at So Steady to email us um, your information. So if you're giving getting the uh, $10 discount, then you're going to want to email us just your email address and your name and say that you are a lucky winner. So Reese, you are the first winner of our $10, um, $10 to our website. Um, and then we have another, another winner here. Let's go ahead and pick up uh, $10. So steady. So we've got So Reese as the first winner. We've got the next winner as Met McNabb. Met McNabb. We have another lucky winner as Bet McNabb. Um, let's go ahead and see if we can get her on here. All right. And then finally, um, we have our final winner as Carol Martin Miller. Carol Martin Miller. We hope you're still with us here. Um, you are our third winner. So we might have one more winner. Stay tuned for that. We're seeing if we can get up to 100 shares. We're at 89 right now. Oh, we're at 94 shares. We're so close, Donna. Oh, my goodness. So close. You know what? I'm going to give a, um, a award today for what I read as the most inspiring thing that someone was going to uh, did or has done with these rulers. And this is kind of a bonus giveaway here, but um, to the amazing quilter that shared with us how she turned the flourish into barbed wire. Um, there were a few other votes or people that commented about the most um, kind of inspirational thing you might do with the flourish. So we're gonna give away this cool thing right here. So um, I'm going to find that comment and name the person that actually said that earlier. But you are winning one of our amazing smartphone stands. So you can enjoy much, many more of these lives with us by simply holding up your phone with ease with our smartphone stand. And we're giving you the one that says, when life gives you scraps, make a quilt. So I'll show you how it looks. We've got one right here. And you just kind of put it on the lounger chair. And then it holds up your phone really nicely. So it makes it super easy to be able to watch these lives and other sewing tutorials live. So um, that is our, our final giveaway there was going to be our smartphone lounger for the person that inspired us to make barbed wire with the flourish. <laughs> I loved it. Um, now let's see where we're at with the lives as Donna or uh, with the shares as Donna is finishing up her amazing design that she shared with everyone today. We're at 98 shares, guys. We've got almost got one more lucky winner for the $10. Again, make sure to email us, info at SoSteady, if you're the lucky winner. 
of um, the $10 to our Snow City page. Now, please keep in mind today, as you're making your purchases, if you choose to go ahead and get the DM Quilting Asia Edge template, um, and maybe some like the straightaway template that you're seeing the use of right now, or maybe even that amazing basic marker ruler, Donna is going to be sharing that a little bit more in our future Wednesday Wonders. If you choose to get those, then I highly, highly recommend that you consider picking it up at a local store for free shipping. So we do have that opportunity for you to choose to pick it up at a store near you. We call that our Web Direct program. You can go ahead and get free shipping, and then the store that um, you've chosen to pick it up from this morning, will get credit for that order. So that's kind of exciting. That's one way that we're able to keep honoring all of our amazing resellers that are out there sharing with you, giving you education, and of course, sharing our products. Um, so that is a great option to choose to get web track from those. Uh, I think that that is so neat that you're able to create a design that's uh, more of a kind of a block design. Everyone, we got 201 shares. So I'm officially announcing one more winner to our $10 giveaway. All right. And Donna, I'd like to keep sewing away this amazing block for everyone. And then there was one request earlier. The one request was if you could show how you made circles with the diamond. Um, and I think that you showed that um, by putting the, di the curvy diamond on your inspiration piece. And you showed how you would move that template to make circles. So we might have you do that again at the end, if you wouldn't mind, Donna. Well, let's just do it right here. Okay. So what we have is I have um, half of my eight pattern stitched. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five. But if we wanted to use this in a border, we could do that and have consecutive um, elements connected to each other. Only half of that design. Wouldn't that be really pretty? and a scallopy edge. But let's go ahead and come down a little bit and get out of there. And we'll just make an oval uh, down here now. This does not create a circle. It's an oval pattern. Because it's three and a half by four and a half, it's not three and a half by three and a half. So, let me get in here and I always have to think about this just for a minute because we do it a little backwards to what you might think. We want to stitch this outside edge right there. So I need to position <laughs> my template here so I can now stitch here and stop. And I haven't marked anything, so I'm hoping it's going to turn out right. Now we'll come here and this side and stitch this portion. Now I have to think. <laughs> I see it. It's coming together. Coming together. It's coming together. I see a circle happening right now. I can't really see where I'm going back here, so I hope we're going to end up in the right place. Well, it's more yeah. of an oval, isn't it? It's definitely it's, more of an oval. It's, it is an oval. It is not a circle. Mm -hmm. Let's turn this around. We're not working on a big quilt, so we can do that. Of course, if it was a bigger quilt, I'd be standing up, looking up over the back of the uh, machine, making sure I was able to connect. Okay, yeah. So let's just cut that thread right there and take a look at our new pattern. Oh my goodness, doesn't it kind of look like some... Um, so that's if you were to just make an oval with it. But if you wanted to do the ovals with the with the curvy diamonds, oh, that looks really neat, Donna. I see a design right there in itself. <laughs> All by itself, that's right. 
Yeah. I love it. That is really cool looking. So we have here, we have just half of that pattern coming across. But when we add the oval, you know, we could come back down here and we could do all kinds of fun stuff inside that. What if we put some flourishes in there? This is what's kind of cool with these templates is they can be used um, together. So here we have the pattern. We could stitch one of those elements in there, turn it around yeah, and do the other half. I've had some people tell me they think this looks like a mustache. And so, so a few like, questions okay, came well, in here, Donna. Someone's what? curious, what is the size of that overall overall oval? The uh, oval is four and a half by three and a half. Okay. And then we have our final winner for the $10. One last final winner for the $10, because we did get up to 101 shares, is Di Werner. You are the lucky winner. Again, anyone that won today, make sure to email us your email, uh, your information. So we can either email you that ten dollars to our so study website or we can mail you off your uh, um amazing prizes we gave away the edge to edge sampler set um and then that was to one lucky winner that shared with us what they would do with this set on our facebook post and then we gave away our smartphone lounger to our most inspiring idea which was um someone was making a cowboy quilt and they turned that flourish that you're using right now into barbed wire. I think that's pretty clever. I think that's really clever. I love it. And that's really what Wednesday Wonders is all about is really getting like really cool ideas on what you might do with it and giving you a lot opportunity to see some of these amazing designs that Donna's created um, along with patterns and projects. Donna's done a lot, a lot of work. She's a really, really, um, I would say a prolific designer, just like Leone. You're just, I feel like you're always creating something, Donna. Well, I wake up in the middle of the night sometimes with a picture in my head, and then I have to get up and do something with it. So here we're going to yeah. turn the template around the other direction. We're just going to put a, a little flourish element inside, a double flourish in there. Line up our center mark. I'll post the handout download for everybody one more time. We shared that, um, but I'll, I'll post the link again to that handout here momentarily. So this part of it is not going to be on our handout. So if you want to try and create these, you're going to have to watch the video again. Yeah, that was a bonus today. We got a bonus design there. So there's just all kinds of fun things that we can do here. And this is just with these four templates actually right here. We've only used two. So. Okay. Well, I love it. And we hope everyone has enjoyed our first official Wednesday Wonders with Donna McCauley. We've got um, lots more Wednesday Wonders to come. So we hope you'll all join us again next week. Donna, did you have anything else that you wanted to leave everybody wondering about today? Well, I just wonder, <clears throat> excuse me, I wonder what templates we're going to use next week. Oh, well, that should be a surprise unless you unless you know right now what you might want to show off. Well, I wonder what they might want to see. Our folks Ooh, out there. Okay. In well, we'll let everybody com uh, comment and post and tell us what wonder what templates in the DM quilting lineup would you like to see next week by Donna McCauley? I'll post a link to all of her designs. Uh, Donna McCauley, again, has lots and lots of amazing designs that she's created for us here. Um, at, and so we're going to post a link to the DM Quilting page right here on the So Steady website. So take a look at all of those designs and maybe tell us which one you want to get most um, inspired by. And then we'll post a, link, um, a comment post again uh, before our live feed next week and give you the opportunity to tell us what it might inspire you to do. And look at that. Honestly, that is such a cool design. I love just how you modified it there with the oval and the flourish. And 
all kinds of fun stuff you can do with this, not just edge to edge too, which is really, you know, this, this template set in itself has so many, uh, so much potential for, for edge to edge designs, but obviously you can do so much more. All right, Donna, anything else we want to share with everyone before we sign off today? Well, I don't think so. I'm just hoping that we have um, lots of good ideas coming our way because this is going to be kind of a fun time. We're leaving this somewhat open where you can tell us what you want to see and have us do. So you get to interact with us a little bit more than just simply me up here telling you how to stitch something. That's right. We love the live, the live giveaways and the live interaction. We're excited to be bringing this to all of you. So again, thanks for joining us today, guys. And we'll see y'all next week on our Wednesday Wonders with Donna McCauley and DM Quilting. Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.